Hi and welcome to this week's e-newsletter. Firstly, I'd like to welcome new families to our school community and congratulate all our new and existing students on the way they have settled into Term 3 at Hazel Glen. It's been great to be back and all our staff are looking forward to a productive and exciting term ahead. I'm sure this has been stated previously throughout the e-newsletter. However, I certainly could not let my opportunity pass to add my congratulations. Last Friday and Saturday were extremely special for our college. Our second college production of Annie was absolutely outstanding. The students made us all extremely proud. So much talent and an experience they will keep with them for years to come. The production was simply a professional performance. The team of dedicated teachers led by Sarah Carruthers showcase how lucky we all are at Hazel Glen College and what an amazing performing arts program we have. Their commitment far above and beyond to make this occasion so special was unwavering. Thank you to all staff, families and students who supported another special event that will be etched into Hazel Glen College history. We hope you have all celebrated the successes of your children throughout semester one through sharing their mid-semester reports. A reminder that the reports remain available on campus and can be accessed at any time. Please also be reminded that reports should be read in conjunction with students' key assessment tasks. Key assessment tasks are set by teachers to allow students an opportunity to demonstrate their understanding of topics taught throughout the semester. These tasks are explained in detail to the students and once completed are returned to students with feedback about their progress and areas for future development. These tasks are also available on Compass. Our student-led conferences are being held during week nine of this term. This will allow you an opportunity to discuss your child's progress during semester two with your child's teachers and set goals for term four. If you have any concerns about your child's progress prior to these interviews, please feel free to make an appointment to speak directly with your child's teacher or communicate with them via Compass. As stated in our digital technologies and network policy, can I please remind all parents that we request our students to stay off their mobile phones and any social media forums while at school. We understand students have access to mobile phones, but ask that they do not make contact with family members during the day. If parents do need to be contacted for any reason, the college will make this contact. Thank you for your support and understanding um, with this matter and the use of mobile phones. Hazel Glen College has made a strong partnership with Dyson's to provide a public transport Victoria bus service for our students. Please note that it is extremely important that all stu students travel with a valid MyKey and that their MyKey is touched on and off during every trip. This includes students who use a six month or yearly pass. MyKey usage data is vital in determining loading levels and information on frequent, frequently used stops. This ensures that we can continue to work with Dyson's in providing appropriate service levels to our families. Moreover, it is an expectation and a requirement that all students travel with a valid MyKey and students who are caught fare invading risk receiving a $79 infringement. We thank families for continuing to support your children in understanding the correct way to travel on public transport. This year, we have held two major house events, our athletics and cross country. This term, our house competition is focused around performing arts. This involves each house being led by their head of house and house teachers in creating a small three to four minute production to be performed in front of the entire middle school. Each house will be judged against a strict criteria um, by special judges and a winning house announced. It is an expectation that all our house competitions, that all students get involved and embrace the spirit of the event. We look forward to the culmination of our house performing arts on Thursday the 14th of September, where all houses will celebrate their hard work by performing in front of their peers in the gym. As this competition involves a lot of hard work and practice, a number of our assemblies during period five on Thursdays this term will be dedicated to practicing for this event. Once again, this will be communicated through Compass. Thank you and enjoy the week.